Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. I hope you are all doing well today. It is Friday and the beginning of the weekend, and I apologize, normally I do a midweek video, but I was traveling for work, and by the time I got back Thursday, it just wasn't a good time, so I'm trying to sneak it in Friday before my weekend plans start. Um, and I'm really excited because it's going to be a twofold video. So first I'm going to tell you guys about some books that I'm taking on my trip. So my holiday TBR. Um, we as a group are with some friends are going to take our dogs to Palm Springs, California, where it is going to be a lovely 107 to 114 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but it is hot. Um, we rented a house with a pool and a hot tub and all that kind of stuff, so I'm super excited to go there and just lay by the pool and read. And then the second part of the video, I am going to do my first giveaway for um, the channel. So I hope you guys stick around and I'll tell you exactly how that came into being as well. So I'm taking three books with me. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but I've already researched. Palm Springs has an independent bookstore, so I will be going shopping and uh, probably doing that reading there as well. Um, the first book that I am going to be reading is The Turner House by Angela Florney. I'm actually going to be doing this as a buddy read with Brita over at the section, second shelf. I will link her channel below. Um, I uh, mentioned this in a video I did a while ago at the start of my channel where I was trying to get some people to inspire me to read five books that had been on my shelf for a while and she had told me that she had wanted to read it too so we finally are now about to start it together um, I've already apologized to her a hundred times I am not the best buddy reader I don't read very fast so I always feel guilty but the Turner house <laughs> is about a house in Detroit and it is about the Turners that have lived there for over 50 years and there's 13 children that have come and gone the house has always had a, like an important part in their life and I believe with the loss of their father and I think their mom gets sick that I think they're gonna decide the fate of whether they keep the house or not um, so that's The Turner House by Angela Florney, and it's going to uh, be one of the books I read while I'm in Palm Springs. The second book I'm reading, I'm actually really excited about this one that I'm bringing along, and that's The Border of, Parody, uh, sorry, the Border of Paradise by Esme Weijun Wang. Isn't that cover just fantastic? Now, Esme was listed as one of the top 25 writers under 30. What is the grunt? Hold on one second. I have this here. So sorry, you got to close my head. So Granta did Best of Young American Novelists, and I believe there are 25 of them. And Esme is one of them, and she is listed right here down at the bottom. There's some great people in this book. Um, and so when I heard that, and then I found out that her book is actually published by Unnamed Press, and you guys know how I enjoy Unnamed Press, I thought, you know what, Russell, pick it up, and you should read it. And I'm going to read you the back because it sounds like it's going to be such an interesting ride. So, in booming post-war Brooklyn, young David Nowak cannot fit in. His family, a pillar of the Polish immigrant community, is at a loss to help their boy, who is obsessive, neurotic, and racked by insomnia. After inheriting control of the family fortune while still in high school, David abandons life in New York to travel the world. His return to the U.S. with Daisy, a young Taiwanese woman, marks an irre irreparable sorry, uh, break with his past. Escaping to Northern California wilderness, the newlyweds craft an insular, often idyllic existence for their two children, Willem and Jillian. But, with modern, but while modern life threatens to lure the children away, it is the looming madness of their parents and its shocking legacy that will decide their fate. So I thought that sounded really good. I love the cover. I love Unnamed Press that has so many things going for it. So that is The Border of Paradise by Esme Weijun Wang. And I am so excited. If you follow her on Twitter, she's got amazing style and she's so smart. So I really enjoyed her. So I'm excited about that one. And then last but certainly not least as I move books around below the camera. <laughs> um, I'm going to be taking the ARC copy of Jamie Ford's new novel, Love and Other Consolation Prizes. Now, Jamie very nicely sent me this copy. If you haven't read Jamie Ford before, and I'm not sure I've talked about this, I may have hauled this video, this book already, um, having a, a little bit of a blankness there. But um, Jamie wrote um, The Hotel at the Corner... The Hotel? What in the world? I Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet. Oh my goodness. Uh, 
And that book came out years ago, and I just saw on Twitter today that it has gone into like its 40th printing. It is amazing. It is um, a story of a, um, a Japanese girl and a, I want to see, Chinese boy. And they fall in love around World War II, and she winds up getting moved to an internment camp. It's been a long time since I've read it, so I apologize if I'm getting those details wrong. But I do know that it's like in the works for a musical and the works for a movie, and it's really good. So if you haven't read Jamie Forms' Hotel at the Corner of Bit Bitter and Sweet, you really should. And then I met Jamie for his second book, um, Songs of Willow Frost. I think that's what it's called. And um, that was really great, and he is really great. His family, they're just great people. And so this is his new book. And I think all I'm gonna tell you about his new book is it's about the World Fair, World's Fair in 1909, where a little boy was actually sold. And it's based on a true story. I don't know what else to say. Cannot wait to see what Jamie does with that. Um, I'm really excited. I'm so happy and very thankful, Jamie, for you sending me this. And uh, I'm super excited. So if you can't get this yet. I think it comes out in September. I'm not sure. Um, but I will tell you, if you haven't read Jamie Ford, go pick up his backlist. Um, you will not, not, not regret it. So those are the three books that I'm taking with me on my trip. And I'm putting the grant out on there. And now I'm going to tell you about my first giveaway. Hopefully you guys are excited. So on Monday, I went to Books, Inc. in Alameda. It's a kind of a string of independent bookstores that I have here in the Bay. Um, I took the train up there to avoid traffic and I ate my dinner and I went and I went to see two authors speak. One I have already talked to you about at, um, at length because I adore her and that is Lisa Ko of The Leavers. I had met her at Booktopia and she was in Alameda so I went and saw her. Um, just a reminder, The Leavers is the story of a mother and son and um, the mother comes here um, She's an immigrant from China. She pays $50,000 to come over in a box. She's actually, I say a box, just casually. She comes over in a box. And um, she has a son, and I think she's pregnant while, she, she doesn't know it, but she's pregnant on the trip over. Um, her son is um, born in the US, and when he's 11 years old, his mom goes to work and doesn't show up. And then he, instead, uh, doesn't show up, never comes home. And he is then later adopted by a white couple that are both college professors in, nor in the north part of New York. They change his name to westernize him and he grows up not knowing whatever happened to his mother. Um, and he kind of searches for her once he turns to be an adult, kind of figuring out where she went, why she left him, um, he doesn't know. So for him, it could have been she just didn't want him anymore, um, not realizing the true story. Um, and she goes back to China, and it's about her life in China when she returns. Um, I have now listened to Lisa Ko read two different parts of this and talk about this book and the impetus of it. Um, she's funny, the book is poignant, and really is a different view on the immigrant experience than I was ever aware of. So, that's The Leavers. And then I saw she was in conversation with Donia Bijan, who wrote The Last Days of Cafe Layla. And um, I, didn't, I hadn't read this book or know anything about it, but I will read you a little bit about it. Um, and it says... Set in the backdrop of Iran's rich, turbulent history, this exquisite debut novel is a powerful story of food, family, and a bittersweet homecoming. When we first meet Noor, she is living in San Francisco, missing her beloved father Zod in Iran. Now, dragging her stubborn teenage daughter, daughter Lily with her, she returns to Tehran and to Cafe Layla, the restaurant her family has been running for three generations. Um, Donia said when she, she wrote this book because she can never return to Iran. She came here when she was young and um, she actually has some nonfiction, a memoir. She's a trained chef. She had a restaurant in the Bay Area that has since closed and um, she wrote um, a memoir about that experience. And then this is her first work of fiction. The cover, look at it, it's pretty cool. So I did this. I bought one version for myself and I got her to sign, let me show you, sign this version for you guys. And I also got Lisa Ko to sign this version. Oh, where are you, Lisa? Lisa, 
to sign this version for you guys and this is my giveaway and this is what I'm asking that you do. In the comments below if you're interested in either of these books I want you to tell me your favorite book about the immigrant experience and um, why. It's your favorite book about the immigrant experience. Sorry that uh, uh, tumbled on my tongue. That was like a big pause there. Hopefully that didn't seem weird. Um, and I want to know why. And then if you guys would like, what I'll do is I'll take your name and I'll put it in a hat. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, put your Twitter handle down. If you follow me on Instagram, put that down and I'll give sort of like a, a ticket per those things. And in two weeks time, so two Fridays from now, um, I will put everybody's name in a thing and I'll just have the husband pull it out of a bucket. Um, two winners one for each book signed uh, by each of the authors um, I will send them anywhere so no matter where you are in the world I will mail them to you um, because it's my first giveaway and I'm super excited and I hope both of these books sound really exciting to you and you're interested in either of them and um, they're both signed by the author which is pretty cool and that is that so giveaway what's your favorite book about the immigrant experience and why, tell me below. And then also remember, if you follow me on Twitter or follow me on Instagram, just put your handles down so I can follow you and I'll put extra tickets in there for you for the thing. Any books that you would recommend that I definitely read on break? What are your favorite books to read when you go on vacation? Anything that you're gonna take on vacation moving forward? Um, I love talking to you guys and I hope you guys have a great weekend and have some great holiday plans and I will see you in a couple days. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.